Alright guys, welcome back. Alright, so we have found Iris, the patient inside this asylum who has been a survivor to the Bell Killer's attacks. So we can, she's not willing to speak to us and we can't possess her because she's got some kind of like crazy, unstable, I don't know, aura about, around her. And just before we move on, I just noticed that my current objective, if you look in the top right there, it says exit the attic. That was a long time ago, so the game's bugged out a little bit on my my status of where I am in the game. And I noticed in the when I was rendering and editing my videos um, from the previous parts that the autosave marker in the bottom right corner was constantly on. So it's not there now because I've restarted the PS4. But it's just noticed a few things and thought I'd just point it out. All right, let's see what we've got anyway. How many? Clues? I think there's about nine clues or something if I can remember. Doesn't really seem to be much we can look at just yet. Can't look at anything to it really. Let's see if we can talk to the girl. No. No. What the hell? She booted me out somehow. Alright, right, we've seen this in the last part. Let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. Yeah, I restarted the game. So it's put me back at the start of this area. So here's my clues. Now the investigation starts. What ta determine what Iris knows about the Bell Killer. Okay, so yeah, we can look at these now. So troubled. That's what that picture shows us. The range drawing is the killer there. Looks like it's attacking her. There's all demon hands. It looks like. So I've got a feeling that the Bell Killer's kind of well, got something to do with the demons and the afterlife. It's not just a straightforward murderer. Okay, what's it? What's Iris trying to communicate in this drawing? Burned at the stake. Yep. It's a woman surrounded by fire. Wind chime. No. There's a bell in the in the middle of the picture. So there's the bell. Hmm. Symbolant. This, this relates to the Bell Killer murder, with, where he burns someone at the stake. So I was thinking as well, like maybe. Well, I wonder what the case was where she survived the attack. What happened? Let's see at the details. What is Iris trying to communicate with the drawing? Let's zoom out and see what the picture is. All right, so it's like demons. And there's a cat in the corner. Um, a church. A man attacking a woman with a sword. What's he got in his hand? Like glue or something. Oh, it's not a sword, is it? It's like a stick. Alright, what are the options for this? Let's have a look. Chased. Yeah, he's get he's chasing the girl. Tormented, playful, happy. It's not it's not playful or happy. Tormented. So that's when she was captured. So she was captured from the left. Maybe, maybe there's a story told throughout these pictures. What's this one in the corner? Can't see anything. Something on the table. It's crayons. This is her therapy. Good. The bed's been flipped. It's not really a clue, is it? To tell us. Yeah, it just shows that she's agitated. Right, so we can. That's to talk to us. If she actually speak any English. Or like art therapy or something. Do no, blue, blue eyes, cold as death. Who had blue eyes? And and death. What does that mean? Blue eyes, wolf eyes, blue stare. The killer's got blue eyes. Right, there's one more clue. There we go. We can look at this. There's nothing about the contract just yet we've seen in the pictures. So what's this picture telling us? Um, two girls. There's one more clue. Um, linked. There's no sunflowers. The roses on the right of the picture. Yep, the linked hold pants. Okay, so she was captured with someone else. 
Hmm. Oh, she's a twin. Iris and her twin sister are both captured together. Iris is the one who got away, it seems. Iris's life, but paid with her own. The bell killer's going after young girls. Well, what was it? What, what'd you see? That poor kid. Her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched, but she couldn't return the favor. Leave us alone! Orderlies. Crap, I'm so dead. All right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her. Come on, she's coming with us. No, you're not taking her. Look, you want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. Oh, God, right there. Alright, so this Iris is being possessed by her twin sister, that's why she's being a bit psychotic and she's in here. So we gotta get these guys to escape now. Are we gonna go out the way we came in? Um, are we trying to get this way, maybe? Yeah, those, those cameras back there. Oh, they're going this way, okay. There's an orderly here blocking the way. We need to distract him. There's a radio, I think, it looks like up here. Are they gonna move? We're gonna to open the gates as well. Any cameras in here? Doesn't look like they're not moving just yet, so we need to take one more thing. See, I think they might be, oh, they're moving, okay. Get the right, that guy's right there, he would hear their footsteps and just like their, just the, the, the um, presence of them, surely. Oh, nice same um, placed exit. Let's go back to town. Over here, in those shadows there. Coast is clear. <sighs> Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. I thought I would never see this again. Alright, so what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demon? We did nothing to him. He had no reason to go after us the way he did. The way he did? He drowns one girl and burns another? 
Where have I seen that steak before? Where have I seen the steak before? The gala invitation. That looks like some kind of um, made the tools, you know, like hanging and stuff. Salem History Museum, God of Liar. Why would this be in him of his book? Yep. That's it. I right, look, look. Get Iris to the church. Make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later. Go. Okay. Come on, Iris. All right. Now, what the hell does a museum gala have to do with Rose's murder? Okay, investigate the gala for links to the bell killer. How could the bell killer or his murders be linked to the gala? Okay, so we're heading towards the museum. I don't really understand how um, Iris can see ghosts. It must be because her twin sister's a ghost now, so there's some kind of like spiritually connected. That's all I can really think of the reason behind that. Fitting for an investigation about a serial killer. All these murders have whipped this town into a frenzy. Now it all leads here to a gala celebrating a time when Salem found itself swept up in another whirlwind of hysteria. Those witch trial exhibits. So I'm thinking. Why is the game stopped? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm thinking that um, the reason for this guy's murder is he's kind of like recreating. Gather round and bear witness to the righteous proceedings of a trial of a, a, a most heinous nature. Now you, good woman Putnam. You stand accused of the murder of seven of your own children, whom you claim were taken by forces of the this devil. This freak show better give me some answers. I did not do it. My devil spawn of a child is my own accuser. Best to bear in the spawn of the devil. Okay, so let's look at some of these um, like kill tools that we used in the olden days to see. We can try and investigate and see what the killer's going to do next, maybe. Right. I know it's not as bad as some of the things. Must have been a pretty effective way to publicly shame people. Yeah. So this killer must think that they're all witches or something, young girls. What's making those sounds? The trap door, surely. Upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem. It is time to pay for your sin. Mm, that's the little girl from the start that told us everything we need. We needed to know about being a ghost. So the ghost girl from the alleys is Abigail Williams, and this gallows was actually used to execute her centuries ago. So she's been around for a long time. I wonder why she hasn't moved on yet to the afterlife. Maybe because she is a witch or something. Strange. Alright, we've got, we got five more clues to find. Can we investigate this um, 
Recreation. Inspect this. I neither confess it's court that. records. Replica of court records from the actual Salem witch trials. Confess now, good woman Putnam. Confess and ease your soul. There's a picture here. What's this of? Owned by Judge Hath Hathorne. One of the most influential judges during the witch trials, this historic mansion also served as courtroom for many of the trials and sentencing hearings during the hysteria that blanketed Salem in 1692. So it's the courtroom. What have we got here? So it wasn't really a form of execution. Right. What was making that sound? Oh, still got killed by this. So like a rope snapping or something. Yep. What the hell was that sound then? The point of this? They were trying to get people to talk. They talk. Sounds like blood pouring. They, they talk with those heavy stones on it. Oh, yes. Witch. Confess. Your covenant. A demonic contract. With the dark forces. What was that? They just crushed them. Back in... Puritan times, they tortured people to coerce confessions that their actions were guided by a demonic contract. So that's the contract people have been talking about, a demonic contract? But how is that linked to like these girls? What, what makes them think that they are under contract of the demons? There we go. What's, this is the way that girl was killed in the chair. That, um, Sophia, back in the same um, cemetery. Yeah, wasn't something Sophia, yes. Um Drown. Water maybe? Yeah, it's definitely water. Something like this was killed to kill used to kill Sophia, yep. And here's the last one, burning at the stake. Wasn't something like this, yes, used. It was Rose, that's Iris's sister. There's three more, two more clues. Taught, um, exposed to the elements, yeah, fire, oh, no. The elements of fire, yeah? Okay, so we got Rose. Burned to death, definitely. And torture. Okay, let's conclude the investigation. Got all the clues. So the bell killer used torture devices like this to kill his victims. Why kill them like witches? I'm surprised there's no exhibit for the accusers. It's such an important part of Salem's history. Actually, several artifacts aren't on display yet. We're currently preparing them upstairs in the restoration room. I better see what else is in here. Okay, so the restoration room upstairs is where they've got the rest of the... the art... Oh, 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 what's that? What? Wait for the gap and run across. Go, 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 go. <laughs> um, where are we going? Whoa, train right there. We have to make our way up the, up the tracks, it seems. Teleport in between the gaps. Is there a gap over there? Yep. God, that's noisy. All right, I think we've made it to the point where we need to be. Oh no, this is just another collectible here. Okay, so we need to go up the stairs, I think, maybe. Or just go on the other side to start with. Yep. Can we go up these stairs? Yeah, we can. 
the train still cro passing through this section though. That train's so noisy. It's gone now. Okay, so we're looking for the restoration room where they got the rest of the um, artifacts of the what they call the people that were accused, the accusers from the olden days when the witches were banned and killed. There's another door here we can go through. I told you to look after Iris. You're not the boss of me. I found a bunch of stuff downstairs. The bell killer is offing his victims as if they're witches. I'm heading upstairs to see what else I can find. I should have told you to follow me, and then maybe you would have stayed at the church. You know me so well. Right, here's the restoration room. Just keep an eye out for security cameras and alarms. Thanks for the tip, but this isn't even my first break in today. Yeah, this looks like the right place. Now let's see what these artifacts can tell me about the witch trials. Okay, do any of these artifacts relate to the Bell Killer case? There's a bunch of stuff on the tables getting fixed up. What's making those sounds? Sounds like a crystal-ish? Like, like something sh I don't know. These things don't make sounds normally. <laughs> yep. My apologies. It will always belong to you. Hey, Bridget, this shroud of your conversations with the spirit world will surely condemn you as a witch. Puritan mediums were witches. That's what they were said to be witches. Persecution. One of the ex existing witch trial related paintings previously used in the first floor ex exhibit. Yep. Okay, what's this? Important message. Is this an antique scroll? <laughs> is that important? It doesn't tell us what it is. Here's the judge's, um, what do you call them? Gavel. List of the accused. Uh, there's no names though, it's not telling us any. Not that really, that would help us out unless they got the same surname as people that have been killed recently. Maybe it's like, ancestors. Ship's wheel. What's that got to do with witches? It's like pirates. <laughs> uh, it's not on these tables. What have we got over here? Navigation? It's like that's another ship thing, isn't it? Like a big light for the the end of the ship. Civil War. Right, any of these pictures we can look at? Just all random pictures, really. There's many. Let's try and find as many clues as we can before we get a barrel. Wine. I don't think that's part of the exhibition, though, is it? It's just a barrel. Like it's, that's been around. It's not related to anything. They've been around for years. <laughs> We're back where we started. Yeah. So it's psychic, Salem psychic history. Local child medium Sophia Baker find missing man. Sophia, that's the girl that was killed with the tree, the, the rose. Okay, so these are all the people that have been attacked by this bell killer now. 
Hmm. So mediums are seen as witches now, aren't they? Because that, that they're the people that are getting um, attacked. People that can see actually ghosts. What's this big ship anchor? Hmm. There's a lot of boat related artifacts up here. There's three more clues. Where have we not been? Is, um, has the girl got anything to say? Are you sure you found everything? No. There we go, there's a picture hidden behind this cabinet. Hmm. Baxter's hiding a painting. Why is that? That's strange. Hey kid, I, I need you to lift up this painting. It's got a bell in it on me. Called the Hanged Witch. It's creepy. Ugh. It's the killer symbol. Why is it glowing? Ghostly version of the bell killer symbol is paint is on the painting. So that one's like cursed or something, you know, for that to be glowing like in This is just an office next to it. Two more clues. I'm going to try and find the answer. So what's the question? Do any of these artifacts relate to the Bell Killer case? Yes. The list of um, targets? Definitely. The symbol on the painting? It's a bell. The bell Killer? Yes. Maybe Baxter? All the ship stuff is new things to us, so it's not going to relate to the case that we're looking into. Maybe the mediums are being told out the witches, because all the people that have been killed have been mediums. That's correct. Got it in one. The is targeting mediums because he thinks they're witches? That's insane. Who do I know that's interested in mediums? Baxter. So what suspicious behaviours Baxter exhibited during this case? The museum? He's been he's hit that painting behind the the um, shelf. Nothing to do with Poland. His promotion? No. He hid the book in his own office. Um, Joy's mother's book of notes. Back to looking for the girl. Looking for the girl. Or maybe the bell killer. No, everyone's looking at the bell killer, so he's specifically looking for the girl. Yep. And why the hell is Baxter involved in this? He dropped the case when he was demoted. Alright, we found the killer's symbol. We got a suspect to look into. We're almost there. And not one step closer to finding my mom. Like I said, the world doesn't need another whiner. You know what? Screw you. You don't understand. Don't understand? My wife was murdered three years ago. She got to float up into the white light, and I got stuck here in this place with some bitchy teen. Ugh. Your mom's been missing what? Two, three days? Huh? And I guarantee you, we'll find her. If I fail, if we fail, I'll never get to see Julia again, ever. We won't fail. I don't need a cheerleader. Look, I'm sorry I didn't know about your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we need to act on the information we found. You head off to the church. The church? Where are you going? Bax is our prime suspect. I need to get over to his apartment and see if I can dig up any skeletons. Probably not a good idea for a fugitive to visit a cop. Fine, I'll meet you later. Alright, so Baxter's our prime suspect right now. He's our only lead. 
He's been acting quite suspicious around the case and looking into the bell killer a bit too much. Let's just hope that he hasn't got any drawers we need to open because the girl's not here now to do any, do any of these physical activities. Alright guys, I'm going to close this episode here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See ya.